When the nation's economy slows down, it hits hard in northeastern Minnesota. That's because we mine the ore and harvest the timber that builds the roads, the bridges, the homes and buildings all across our nation. When recession strikes, construction slows or stops, plants close, mines shut down, skilled working men and women lose their jobs through no fault of their own. We are in a deepening recession. In the past 13 months, 3,600,000 men and women have lost their jobs. We haven't seen a reduction in the workforce this big since the end of World War II when Rosie the Riveter hung up her coveralls and America switched from a wartime to a peacetime economy. Today, there is no post-war economic boom on the horizon. We have to act quickly, decisively, to keep this recession from worsening or becoming an all-out depression. The way to do that is to put people to work with jobs that pay a living wage. I expect Congress to give final passage this week to the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. I want that bill on President Obama's desk and signed into law by next Monday, President's Day. That stroke of the president's pen will send men and women to work, building and maintaining roads and bridges, upgrading schools, modernizing public buildings and other structures. Minnesota's Department of Transportation has a backlog of 200 shovel-ready road and bridge projects. This legislation will send $477 million to our state to start work on those projects. And that, by MnDOT's estimate, will create some 17,000 jobs. A recent analysis by Moody's Investors Report concludes that the recovery bill could put a total of 91,000 Minnesotans to work by 2010. That would hold the state's unemployment rate down by nearly 2%. Americans and Minnesotans will know how their tax dollars are being put to use because I drafted and insisted on a tough use it or lose it clause in the recovery plan. If states don't start using their money and commit it to road and bridge projects in 90 days, those funds will go back to the Treasury to be redistributed to states that are ready to create jobs. Minnesota appears ready. Every 30 days, all states will have to report to my committee on exactly how their funds are being used and how many jobs and what types of jobs and the payroll being created. History teaches us that inaction, timidity, will have dire consequences. In the spring of 1929, President Hubert, Herbert Hoover ignored a number of critical warning signs. Despite a slowing economy, rising consumer debt, a small stock market crash, his administration took no action to rein in Wall Street and stabilize a flagging economy. By October of 1929, it was too late. The market crashed. The Great De Depression had begun. We are today heeding the lessons of the Great Depression, looking to the future. This week, Congress and President Obama will take bold action to stimulate our economy, to create jobs in the short term, to lay the foundation for future sustained economic growth. Now, one bill is not going to solve all of the problems. There are still some trying times ahead for all of us. But the journey to economic recovery must begin somewhere. It will begin with this step. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act is that first step. The time to take it is now.